All right, so we're back to the only game where if you piss off your pet rat, it will ruthlessly kill you and your entire family. It's The Sims 4. The Sims 4 masquerades as a game about decoration and life simulation, but honestly, I think it's more about just torturing people. This isn't just my fault either. It's the, it's the creator's fault. They put like a dozen different ways to kill everyone after all. Today, my Sims have a lovely new mansion that you can hold many parties in, but its true purpose is to give them various diseases until they die horribly. I've got these rodent cages filled all throughout the house, and I'm going to have my sims interact with the rodents so that they eventually get pissed off at them. The rodents are going to hate everyone that smells even remotely like Bud Light. As usual, one of Tonsil's eyes is attempting to look up Bab Ross's towel. Spleens is on a leisurely stroll looking for discarded drugs around the property. And as usual, we have a brand new contestant to the show, Tommy Weenus. Tommy Weenus hates his life. That's why he's here. I gave him this name because this, does this remind any of you of someone? Huh? You ever, you ever seen a movie called The Room? This guy was randomly generated and I had to keep him just like this because his wardrobe is fantastic. Clearly after robbing my grandmother of her bedroom and drapes, he decided to make a pair of pants out of them. So I'm gonna let all the Sims enjoy the house. I don't even know how. I just started the game and Florida man has already been on fire. I don't know, it's also possible he was just at Miami Beach or something. Now I've given all of our lovely rodents various names, such as cholera and pneumonia. I'm not gonna lie, Tonsils looks weird normally, but when he's in mid-strain, he looks like an old man squinting to read the newspaper. I named this one diarrhea just because on Google, it told me that apparently infectious diarrhea is a real killer. So if you don't pay attention and you don't clean the rodent cages, eventually they get so annoyed that when other sims attempt to touch them, they will bite them and possibly give them a, what is effectively the plague. My sims have figured it out. They're like, if we just don't go inside the house, we can live. Tell me sims, are you all enjoying the fact that you're actually allowed to use the bathroom? I'd like to keep you nice and sanitary before I start giving you squirrel herpes. Florida man, are you cleaning up? I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. Florida man's like, Gray, I'll be surviving this time because my 15 years of drinking Natty Light has given me a 30% resistance to poison. There's actually a few up here as well. We have Ebola up here, as well as tuberculosis. I have to make sure that the Sims have bad relationships with the creatures, so I'm gonna have them ber berate them. Tommy is over here yelling at this rat. He's like, I did not hit her. Oh, this is cool. It's pretty rare, but every once in a while you can catch spleens immediately after she ingests 400 kilograms of methamphetamine. People will be like, where is she storing it all? It's all in her ears. See how one eye is slightly closed? That's because the, the left half of her over here is actually asleep. The right half is wide awake though. Tuberculosis appears to be conducting experiments on reaching escape velocity. I'm starting to really enjoy the fact that I name these rats these names because of the different things that come up in the upper right hand corner of the screen. LSD is over here watching TV. She's like, these Sims are so happy. I don't know what this feels like. You ever pause the Sims and when you pause, you're like, what the hell did I pause on? What is what what is this? What is happening here? I don't know if she's tongue gesturing or if she has a spatula down her throat. Let us never speak of this cursed image. Oh, Ebola's having a rodent rave party. That's nice. What was that music coming from Ebola's habitat? It's the screaming. The screaming of the damned. Nuclear blast detected over at smallpox. On a side note, maybe smallpox is no longer contagious because of this. I was wandering around in the house and I turned the corner and Tonsils is there and he's like, hey. Tommy Weenus acquired the cooking skill? Oh Christ. All right, Tommy, listen, I know you want to kill yourself, but please don't set my house on fire. He's trying. He's trying with everything he's got. I can only picture this conversation over here. Bab Ross is like, hey, Tommy, what do you like doing for fun? And Tommy's like dying. And Bab is like, that's strange. I'm, I'm really good at that myself. I'm really glad that you could all be here today at the dinner table because the family that dines together gets rabies together. How you doing there, small pox? You feeling pretty good? Yeah. I just want to let you know, uh, all the humans called you a dick. Yeah. This is a really interesting conversation that Florida Man and Spleens are having. Florida Man is like, I love Bud Light, and Spleens is like, I love having strokes. Also, Florida Man still hasn't showered. <laughs> Time's up, diarrhea. 
Anyone seen a rodent around here goes by the name of diarrhea? Don, there's only one person stupid enough to name the rodent diarrhea. It's me. Tetanus has brought you a postcard. This is the first time ever that tetanus has been so thoughtful. This toilet is nuts. Like every time someone uses it, it sounds like they're getting part of their frontal lobe ray gunned out. Spleens is a free spirit. They'll often wander out at night and come back with some surprises. The only surprises that I've seen spleens come back with is kittens. The water must be very impregnating outside of this house. Apparently one of my rats just released a book. The Life and Times of Cholera. <laughs> oh, it's on the bestsellers list. Okay, perfect. The cages are starting to smell like roasted ass. That means it's almost time for Sims to start interacting with the rodents and like, you know, getting horrible diseases that they can give to one another and then die. When your red solo cup is releasing toxic fumes, that means that the dirt level in the house is probably too high. Ah, Beth Amphetamine. You've, you've volunteered to be the very first victim. This rat is like, lean in closer, bitch. I got something for you. All right, doesn't look like she got bit, so she's off the hook. We've got our very first victim, it's LSD. <laughs> Jesus Christ, she's strangling the creature like Homer strangles Bart from The Simpsons. <laughs> this poor rat is like, great, get this llama wearing whore off of me. She's over here like being insane right in front of the pen of rabies. <laughs> I've got to fill all the food bowls. I'm not sure if they can get bit from this, but if they can, it'll be pretty funny to see how many people get screwed. Ammonia passed away due to starvation, damn it. We just got our second bite victim. It's Tommy Weenus. These bites are completely realistic. Back when I was a child, I actually had a pet rat. It was the most evil being I've ever owned in my life. It might as well have been a furry buzzsaw. It bit everything. It bit me, my parents, other pets, inanimate objects. One day my mom was like, you know what would help? Maybe if it had a friend. So we bought another rat to put in there. The other rat disappeared. My parents always thought it ran away. I think that the original rat ate it. Oh, Australian man couldn't keep his goddamn hands to himself. Yep, he's got the fever. Or rather he might. It looks like LSD overcame her bite. Oh, but Australian man didn't. It just said he's got like a tickle in the back of his throat. I think he's screwed. It's all a matter then on who he gives the plague to next. Spleens has gone into labor, of course she has, god damn it. Whenever Spleens goes into labor and additional kittens end up in the game, it sometimes has a tendency to break things. A kitten is born. Your name is Hangnail. Oh god, another kitten is born. Oh, whatever, your name is Bleach. Oh my god, you adorable demon beast. I appreciate that one eye is like 50% larger than the other eye. What do you know? Someone just urinated themselves on a lot with five or more toilets. What the hell? Australian man isn't feeling too good. He's feeling fuzzy. Australian man is mean. It's probably because he knows he's going to die soon. Australian man now has the fuzzy fever. <laughs> and apparently he just urinated himself. <laughs> Come on, man. There's literally toilets everywhere. He's like, if I'm going to end up dying anyway, everyone's going to be cleaning up my piss. Meanwhile, Spleens is over here and she's like, man, this yellow water tastes so weird. I just read this, the fuzzy fever. It actually does cause him to lose control over his bladder. Oh my God, I can't wait until all the Sims get this. Ellis's head is starting to ache. When the hell did this happen? She's got it too. LSD's over here having a conversation with Florida Man. She's like, Florida Man, I don't feel so good. And Florida Man's like, what's wrong? And she's like, I'm feeling really high. And Florida Man's like, high like an airplane? And LSD is like, no, high like I just smoked a pack of Coke smokes. I just noticed there's like an extra little outhouse over here that only Tommy comes to to chill out, eat popcorn, and watch sad baby kittens lie around. He's actually got both of them right next to him. One of them is just laying in a pool of human vomit. The time has come. Australian man is now contagious. Australians should urgently seek help by researching the disease on the computer. That is not going to happen. Instead, Australian man is gonna make vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Look at how happy he is. He's, he's like, there's nothing like dying slowly and sweet vanilla bean. These guys are over here. They're like, isn't it adorable when the kittens clean up our human excrement? Unfortunately, this, this closeness that Florida man has always had with Australian man probably means that he's going to get the disease. 
I love how literally everyone is chilling around this guy. You guys are dicks. They never want to interact with one another, except when one of them is potentially going to die from a contagious disease. And then they're all like, oh, let's all have a party. Okay, I think pretty much everyone got it at this point from Australian men when they all hung around together, except for her. Beth Amphetamine totally doesn't have it. And she even played with all the rodents and didn't get bit. Rabies passed away due to starvation. I tried to keep them all fed. I think that rabies is actually the one that bit one of my sims and got them contagious. Oh, Plague is hungry over here. Hold on, let me feed him. Oh, Beth finally caught it. It took her like forever. She's the last one. Bleach has just aged up. What a glorious specimen this cat is. It's already foaming at the mouth. Here it is. Australian man is foaming at the mouth as he succumbs to the end stage of rodent fever. That's right, Australian man. Do you know what you do right before you die of rodent fever? You do the thriller dance. Down he goes. Meanwhile, the broken ass sink <laughs> spills water all over him. Where the hell did his urn go? What is it underneath all the piles of human refuse? Okay, most of the people now are getting ready to go into stage two which I think means everyone's just going to be pissing everywhere. All the freaking cats are sick now too. <laughs> Spleens is like, I don't know what you're talking about. I feel great. Ellis has become dangerously contagious. I think pretty much everyone has it at this point. Ah, uh, the chain urinating has begun. LSD is actually dying from embarrassment. She's diseased and she was going to die in let me see here, 17 hours, but she ended up dying of embarrassment first for pissing all over herself. And LSD died as she lived, covered in human fecal material. This is so wild, Tommy was over here crying and he pissed himself and now he's mortified as well. This is great because it's going to make the people die out of order instead of just dying like in the order that they were given the plague. God, everywhere I go, there's just a thin sheen of urine covering everything. The fact that my sims have made it into fall for once is nothing short of extraordinary. Everyone's finally getting into the final stages of contagion. And Bab just pissed herself, so she might be next. Florida man followed suit. Then Tommy, they're literally pissing in, in like order. Beth is a goofball. Goofballs are often playful. She does such goofy things as peeing all over herself. Look at this house. The sims have just been spraying their streams everywhere. Poor Tommy, he's finally going down. He's like, you may take my life, but you'll never take my urine. Oh, Bab Ross, next. She was just coming up here to see if something was in her teeth. <laughs> there goes Florida man. He's like, I don't know, maybe it was just a skunk Bud Light. Nope. And that means that our winner, right as she pisses herself, is Beth Amphetamine. <laughs> She's probably gonna die of embarrassment. Well, Beth, if you don't die from embarrassment, you get to keep the house. We're not cleaning up the bodies, though. You gotta do that. You can see how happy she is to be the sole survivor. Tonsils is over here. He's like, and remember, kids, herpes is no joke. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims. Way to go, Beth Amphetamine. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.